I'm Chef Bernard, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make crepes and how to flip them. There is many wonderful things you can do with crepes. You can do savory crepes with ham and cheese and, and, and eggs like we do in Brittany or you can do desserts crepes. Fresh figs are in season, saute apple and you use your imagination. Okay, I'm going to start with a cup and a half of flour which I put in. in the bowl. I had the two whole eggs in the middle and I start to mix the eggs with the flour and as it gets harder I'm gonna add the milk little by little like this. It's about a cup of milk also and you incorporate the flour little by little. I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sugar this, one, two, and a drop of vanilla extract, like this, okay, and mix the whole thing together. Uh, let me tell you a little bit of the history of the crepes. The crepes, not that many people know, that come from Brittany, which is the west part of France, where I'm from actually, and it's usually a meal in itself, and we eat the crepes with hot cider. The restaurant specializing in crepes in Brittany are called creperie. You see, it's a little bit too thick, so I'm gonna add. Altogether, it's about a cup of milk. Okay, you incorporate all the ingredients, and I think it's nice and smooth. Here we go. And we are ready. Voila. Okay, what I use, I use a non-stick pan of that size. That's my favorite size for crepes. Kind of oil it nicely wet. Then you take your ladle and put the batter in the middle of the pan like this. And with the turning motion, make sure all the butter goes all around like this. Okay? And when the butter stops to run, it's ready to put it back on the heat as so. To find out when the crepe is ready, just look around the pan and when it starts to brown, not yet, but when it starts to brown, that's when it's time to flip the crepe. Here we go. And we're going to do the flipping. Okay, one, two, and three, like so. You see, it's nicely brown and your crepe's going to cook on the other side for a minute or so and you're done. That's one. Well, this is the final result. I did about 20 crepes. So when your crepes are done, there is different things you can do with them. You can, like so, you can roll them with sauté apple, like this. Put them in the middle. Sauté apple, which I sauté with a little brown sugar and a little cinnamon. You roll them like this, like so. Okay. And you can put a bowl of vanilla ice cream, fine vanilla ice cream, or you can brûlé them like a creme brûlé with a torch with brown sugar on the top. Or you can use fresh fig, you can make a compote with it. Or you can use wonderful English marmalade. Or for the little children, you can use some, you know, some uh, whipped cream with some chocolate sauce. So use your imagination, there is a lot of things you can do with dessert crepes.